Increase soil fertility with crop rotation. Increase soil fertility with crop rotation. Crop rotation has been one of the most beneficial farming practices that has been used for centuries. It is a process in which different crops are grown in the same area, in a specific cycle. This may. HOD helps to improve the soil fertility and yields. Crop rotation is one of the best ways to manage soil nutrients, control soil-borne diseases and pests, reduce soil erosion, and preserve soil quality. HOD helps to improve the soil fertility and yields. Crop rotation is one of the best ways to manage soil nutrients, control soil-borne diseases and pests, reduce soil erosion, and preserve soil quality. Why? This article discusses the benefits of crop rotation and how it can be implemented in a farm setting. How Crop Rotation Works Crop rotation involves planting different crops in a field following a set pattern or sequence of crops. The plants in the sequence are selected to complement each other, alternating between plants t. At use nutrients from the soil, and those that fix nitrogen and enrich the soil. The benefits of crop rotation come from the diversity of the plants grown in a particular field, different plants have. At use nutrients from the soil, and those that fix nitrogen and enrich the soil. The benefits of crop rotation come from the diversity of the plants grown in a particular field, different plants have. Different nutrient needs, and they extract different nutrients from the soil. When different crops are planted in a field, it creates a balance of nutrients and helps to maintain good soil fertility. Benefits of Crop Rotation 1. Soil Fertility For instance, leguminous crops, like peanuts, beans, peas, and clover, fix nitrogen in the soil, thereby replenishing the soil with the essential nutrient. Root crops, like sweet potatoes, carrots, a. D. Onions help to break up compacted soil, improve soil structure, and allow improved drainage. Crop rotation can also control soil erosion by keeping the soil healthy, which reduces topsoil loss and D. Onions help to break up compacted soil, improve soil structure, and allow improved drainage. Crop rotation can also control soil erosion by keeping the soil healthy, which reduces topsoil loss and Improves the quality of the soil over time. 2. Pest and Disease Management Pests and diseases can be a significant problem for farmers, but crop rotation can avert these problems. When certain crops are grown continuously in a field, they attract pests that can cause problem. As specific to that crop. Planting a different crop in the same field will break the pest cycle, and the pests will find it hard to survive, as they have particular requirements that a different crop. As specific to that crop. Planting a different crop in the same field will break the pest cycle, and the pests will find it hard to survive, as they have particular requirements that a different crop. A. Not provide. Certain crops naturally repel or hinder certain pests or diseases. Crop rotation helps to prevent pathogens and pests from building up in the soil, and the problem of soil-borne disease. 3. Economically viable Crop rotation is not only beneficial to the soil and environment but also economically rewarding. By properly implementing crop rotation practices, a farmer can increase yields and reduce inputs. Red Said inputs such as fertilizers and pesticides, translated into saving on costs to the farmer. Furthermore, healthy soil allows for a broader range of crops, without adverse effects on a crop's yield. 
said inputs such as fertilizers and pesticides, translated into saving on costs to the farmer. Furthermore, healthy soil allows for a broader range of crops, without adverse effects on a crop's yield. Which results in more choices for the farmer to cultivate. 4. Environmentally friendly. Crop rotation is an eco friendly farming practice, it supports the biodiversity of a farm by introducing various crops into the same field. Farmers who plant mustard or legume crops in their field, see. Create an ideal environment for pollinators like bees and butterflies that help in the pollination of crops. Better soil health means reduced water usage and better water retention, which impacts posit. Create an ideal environment for pollinators like bees and butterflies that help in the pollination of crops. Better soil health means reduced water usage and better water retention, which impacts posit. Glee on water runoff and also groundwater resources. Improved soil health also reduces the need for chemical inputs, which have a negative impact on the environment. How to implement crop rotation 1. Soil testing Soil testing is the first step before implementing crop rotation. The soil test is essential in determining the nutrient contents in the soil and adjusting the crop rotation method to suit soil requi. Elements The soil's pH, available nutrients, and organic matter contents provide a good overview of what crops will do well in the soil type. Soil testing will assist in knowing which nutrients are L. Elements The soil's pH available nutrients, and organic matter contents, provide a good overview of what crops will do well in the soil type. Soil testing will assist in knowing which nutrients are L. W, which will help determine which crop will be beneficial to include in the crop rotation. 2. Plan the crop rotation sequence. The crop rotation cycle can vary from year to year, depending on the farmer's preferences and the soil's needs. Rotating crops from the same family, like planting tomatoes and peppers in the same phi. D in year after year, depletes the soil of specific nutrients that are essential to these crops. When planning a rotation cycle, avoid having the same family of crops planted in the same field in Sioux. D in year after year, depletes the soil of specific nutrients that are essential to these crops. When planning a rotation cycle, avoid having the same family of crops planted in the same field in Sioux. Session, this will help break the pest cycle. Adding a cover crop in the sequence is also beneficial in reducing soil erosion and helps to boost soil organic matter. 3. Monitor the soil during rotation. Soil monitoring is vital in crop rotation as it keeps the farmer informed of the soil's changes throughout the rotation cycle. Soil monitoring is done through soil testing during the growth phases of the different crops grown in the field. The different crops grown in the field. 4. Crop Selection Crop selection is an essential step in the crop rotation process. A well-planned crop rotation cycle should alternate between different plant families, including legumes, grasses, cereals, and vegeta. Lay. Legume crops, like beans, peas, and lentils, are known to fix nitrogen in the soil, which will benefit the crops grown in the next season. Grasses, like corn and wheat, have deep roots that help. Lay. Legume crops, like beans, peas, and lentils, are known to fix nitrogen in the soil, which will benefit the crops grown in the next season. Grasses, like corn and wheat, have deep roots that help. 
To break up soil compaction. Cereals, like oats and barley, have shallow roots and are therefore ideal for reducing soil erosion. Consideration should also be given to the market demand of the crops. 5. Timing of Crop Rotation The timing of crop rotation is also critical to the success of the process. The crop rotation cycle should coincide with the crop's growth cycle, reducing the disruption it may cause. A few weeks Beth. Replanting the next crop, the previous crop's remains should be thoroughly plowed into the soil. This practice will provide organic matter that will enrich the soil and improve soil health. If the Replanting the next crop, the previous crop's remains should be thoroughly plowed into the soil. This practice will provide organic matter that will enrich the soil and improve soil health. If the Previous crop's remains are left exposed, they may attract pests, which can cause problems in the future. 6. Record Keeping Record keeping is essential in any farming practice, and this is no exception in crop rotation. Keeping a record of the crop rotation process allows the farmer to monitor the soil's changes and helps to plan and adjust future crop cycles. Recording soil tests, seeding time, crops planted, and harvest yields will provide the farmer with valuable information on which crop rotation practices are well. Maximizing crop yield through crop rotation. Maximizing crop yield through crop rotation. Crop rotation is a farming practice that involves alternating the crops grown on the piece of land over a period of time. The main objective of crop rotation is to improve soil health, reduce soil errors, on and pest pressure, and ultimately maximize crop yield. In this article, we will explore how crop rotation works, its benefits, and how farmers can implement it to achieve maximum crop yield. On and pest pressure and ultimately maximize crop yield. In this article, we will explore how crop rotation works, its benefits, and how farmers can implement it to achieve maximum crop yield. How crop rotation works. Crop rotation involves planting different crops in a particular field over a set period while considering the nutrient requirements, soil type, climate, and overall suitability of the crops. The most common crop rotation systems rotate crops in a two to three year cycle. During this period, farmers plant crops that have different nutrient needs and growth characteristics in a sequence that optimize. Common crop rotation systems rotate crops in a two to three year cycle. During this period, farmers plant crops that have different nutrient needs and growth characteristics in a sequence that optimize. As their interactions with each other. For instance, leguminous plants such as beans or peas have the ability to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere, while cereal crops like wheat or corn require high nitrogen levels for optimum growth. A CR T rotation system that involves planting beans or peas before wheat or corn allows the soil to accumulate the required nitrogen for cereal crops. T rotation system that involves planting beans or peas before wheat or corn allows the soil to accumulate the required nitrogen for cereal crops. Benefits of crop rotation Maximizing crop yield through crop rotation comes with several benefits. Below are some advantages associated with this farming practice. 1. Improved soil health Crop rotation improves soil health by reducing erosion, controlling soil-borne diseases and pests, and promoting beneficial microbial activity in the soil. When a field is continuously planted with tea, E same crop, 
The soil is depleted of certain nutrients while others increase, leading to soil imbalances. Crop rotation systems increase soil fertility and enhance soil structure, which increases crow. E same crop, the soil is depleted of certain nutrients while others increase, leading to soil imbalances. Crop rotation systems increase soil fertility and enhance soil structure, which increases crow. Growth and yield. 2. Reduced pest pressure Crop rotation reduces pest pressure by interrupting the life cycle of pests. Different pests attack different crops depending on the crop species, growth stage, and environmental conditions. By rodent. In crops, farmers can reduce the abundance of pests that have adapted to a particular crop and instead encourage the presence of natural predators that help to control pest populations. This reduces. In crops, farmers can reduce the abundance of pests that have adapted to a particular crop and instead encourage the presence of natural predators that help to control pest populations. This reduces. He need for pesticides, which saves farmers money and minimizes environmental pollution. 3. Drought resistance. Crop rotation can improve drought resistance by increasing soil water holding capacity and reducing soil erosion. Plants with deep root systems, such as legumes, help to break up hardpan soil and n. This water infiltration. Crop rotation also reduces soil evaporation rates, which conserves soil moisture and reduces water stress on crops. This water infiltration. Crop rotation also reduces soil evaporation rates, which conserves soil moisture and reduces water stress on crops. 4. Efficient nutrient use Crop rotation maximizes nutrient use efficiency by balancing soil nutrients and preventing nutrient excess or deficiencies. Different crop species require different nutrients, and planting crops with Complementary nutrient requirements ensures that the soil is continuously replenished with different nutrients. Complementary nutrient requirements ensures that the soil is continuously replenished with different nutrients. Implementing crop rotation. Farmers can implement crop rotation by following the following steps. 1. Assess field suitability. Before implementing any crop rotation system, farmers should assess the suitability of their field for different crop species. Factors like soil type, drainage, climatic conditions, presence of pests, or diseases, and weed pressure should be considered. Or diseases, and weed pressure should be considered. 2. Determine the rotational sequence. After assessing field suitability, farmers should determine the best crop rotational sequence that suits their soil and crop needs. The sequence should include crops with different nutrient requiring TS that complement each other. TS that complement each other. 3. Plant cover crops Farmers should plant cover crops like clover, ryegrass, or legumes during the fallow season to maintain ground cover and improve soil health. Cover crops also help to suppress weed growth and fix ATM. Spheric nitrogen in the soil, reducing the need for commercial fertilizers. Spheric nitrogen in the soil, reducing the need for commercial fertilizers. 4. Use organic matter and other soil amendments. Farmers should incorporate organic matter like compost or manure, and other soil amendments like lime or gypsum to improve soil fertility, structure, and drainage. 5. 
Monitor the field closely. Farmers should monitor the field for any signs of pest or disease infestations and take appropriate control measures when necessary. They should also maintain soil moisture levels and implement propay. Irrigation practices to prevent drought stress or excess soil moisture. Irrigation practices to prevent drought stress or excess soil moisture. Crop rotation is a sustainable farming practice that has been used for centuries by farmers around the world. It is an essential tool for farmers who want to improve soil health, reduce pests and dis. Assays and increase crop yields. In addition to the benefits outlined above, crop rotation also contributes to biodiversity, reduces the impact of climate change, and promotes food security. Assays and increase crop yields. In addition to the benefits outlined above, crop rotation also contributes to biodiversity, reduces the impact of climate change, and promotes food security. The adoption of crop rotation by farmers can be challenging, especially for those who have been practicing monoculture for many years. However, there are many resources available to help farmers implement. Ment crop rotation systems, including extension services, government agricultural agencies, and crop consultants. Ment crop rotation systems, including extension services, government agricultural agencies, and crop consultants. Farmers who implement crop rotation systems have reported significant improvements in soil health, pest and disease control, and crop yields. They have also reduced their dependence on synthetic fert. Cover crops, an effective way to boost soil health. Cover crops, an effective way to boost soil health. As sustainable agriculture gains momentum, more and more farmers are turning to cover crops as a way to improve soil health. Cover crops are plants that are grown to protect soil from erosion and to improve its fertility. They can also help reduce weed pressure and attract beneficial insects. Improve its fertility. They can also help reduce weed pressure and attract beneficial insects. Cover crops have been used for centuries by farmers around the world. Today, cover crops are seen as an important tool for sustainable agriculture. They are used by farmers of all sizes, from small, family-run operations to large industrial farms. What are cover crops? A cover crop is a plant that is grown in between crops to cover the soil. They are typically planted after the main crop has been harvested, but before the next crop is planted. They can also be planned. Add in the fall is a way to protect soil during the winter. Add in the fall is a way to protect soil during the winter. Cover crops come in many different varieties, and farmers choose them based on the needs of their particular soil. Some common cover crops include legumes like clover, which can fix nitrogen in the S. Eel and grasses like rye or buckwheat, which can improve soil structure and reduce erosion. Eel and grasses like rye or buckwheat, which can improve soil structure and reduce erosion. How do cover crops improve soil health? Cover crops have a number of benefits for soil health. First and foremost, they help prevent soil erosion. When soil is exposed to wind and rain, it can be easily washed or blown away. Cover crops he. P protect the soil by holding it in place with their roots and stems. P protect the soil by holding it in place with their roots and stems. Cover crops can also help improve soil structure. When roots penetrate deep into the soil, they create channels for water and air to flow through. 
This helps improve soil aeration and water retention, which can lead to better plant growth, which can lead to better plant growth. In addition to improving soil structure, cover crops can also add nutrients to the soil. Some cover crops, like legumes, can fix nitrogen in the soil, which can be used by the main crop. Cover crops and also scavenge nutrients that would otherwise be lost and make them available to the next crop. And also scavenge nutrients that would otherwise be lost and make them available to the next crop. Another benefit of cover crops is that they can help suppress weeds. By shading the soil and competing for resources, cover crops make it harder for weeds to establish themselves. This can reduce the need for herbicides and save farmers money in the long run. Need for herbicides and save farmers money in the long run. Finally, cover crops can provide habitat for beneficial insects. Some cover crops, like clover and buckwheat, are great at attracting bees and other pollinators. This can help improve pollination and lead to better crop yields. Lead to better crop yields. How do farmers use cover crops? Farmers use cover crops in a variety of ways, depending on their particular needs and goals. One common way to use cover crops is to plant them after the main crop has been harvested. This is known a a fallow period, and it allows the soil to rest and regenerate before the next crop is planted. A fallow period, and it allows the soil to rest and regenerate before the next crop is planted. Another way to use cover crops is to plant them alongside the main crop. This is known as intercropping, and it can provide a number of benefits. For example, planting legumes like clover alongside C. RN or soybeans can help fix nitrogen in the soil and reduce the need for synthetic fertilizer. RN or soybeans can help fix nitrogen in the soil and reduce the need for synthetic fertilizer. Farmers can also use cover crops as a living mulch. This involves planting a low-growing cover crop between rows of the main crop. The cover crop helps suppress weeds and conserve moisture, while STI. L allowing the main crop to grow. L allowing the main crop to grow. Challenges of using cover crops. While cover crops have many benefits, they can also pose some challenges for farmers. One of the biggest challenges is timing. In order for cover crops to be effective, they need to be planted at the right time and allowed to grow for the right amount of time. Right time and allowed to grow for the right amount of time. This can be difficult for farmers who have tight planting and harvesting schedules. In addition, some cover crops can be difficult to manage, especially if they are not well suited to the particular. Oil and climate conditions of the farm. Oil and climate conditions of the farm. Another challenge of using cover crops is the cost. While cover crops can provide many benefits, they can also be expensive to plant and manage. Farmers need to carefully weigh the costs and benefits of cover crops to determine if they are a worthwhile investment. Of cover crops to determine if they are a worthwhile investment. Finally, cover crops can sometimes compete with a main crop for resources like water and nutrients. Farmers need to carefully balance the needs of the cover crop with the needs of the main crop too. Sure both are able to grow and thrive. Sure both are able to grow and thrive. When it comes to sustainable agriculture, cover crops are a crucial piece of the puzzle. As more and more farmers begin to recognize the benefits of these plants, we can expect to see cover crops back. 
Ming an even more common practice in agriculture. Ming an even more common practice in agriculture. For farmers who are interested in incorporating cover crops into their operations, there are many resources available to help them get started. Local extension offices, conservation groups, and agric. Cultural organizations can provide advice on which cover crops are best suited to particular soils and climates. Cultural organizations can provide advice on which cover crops are best suited to particular soils and climates. In addition, there are many online resources available to farmers who want to learn more about cover crops. Best Practices for Soil Testing and Analysis Soil testing and analysis are essential practices for any farmer or gardener looking to optimize their crop yields. Understanding the nutrient content and pH levels of soil is critical to providing p. Ants with the necessary resources for growth. However, soil testing and analysis can be complicated, and several factors need to be considered to ensure accurate results. In this article, we will dis. Ants with the necessary resources for growth. However, soil testing and analysis can be complicated, and several factors need to be considered to ensure accurate results. In this article, we will dis. USS the best practices for soil testing and analysis and provide tips for getting the most out of your soil analysis results. Why soil testing is important. Soil testing is the process of analyzing soil samples to determine soil pH, nutrient levels, and other characteristics that affect plant growth. Testing soil provides valuable information that farmer and gardeners can use to make informed decisions about soil management practices. Soil testing is essential for several reasons. And gardeners can use to make informed decisions about soil management practices. Soil testing is essential for several reasons. 1. Determine soil fertility. Soil testing can determine the nutrient content of the soil, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. By identifying nutrient deficiencies, farmers and gardeners can Adjust their fertilizer application rates and select the appropriate type of fertilizer to supply the required nutrients. Adjust their fertilizer application rates and select the appropriate type of fertilizer to supply the required nutrients. 2. Adjust soil foam. Soil pH affects nutrient availability to plants and soil microorganisms. By adjusting soil pH, Farmers and gardeners can optimize plant growth and improve soil health. 3. Identify soil contamination. Soil testing can identify the presence of heavy metals or other contaminants in the soil. This information is essential for ensuring food safety and environmental HE. LTH LTH 4. Improves plant health. By providing plants with the necessary nutrients and optimizing soil pH, soil testing can improve plant health and increase crop yields. Best Practices for Soil Testing and Analysis To ensure accurate soil analysis results, the following best practices should be observed. 1. Plan Soil Sampling Proper soil sampling is essential to obtain accurate analysis results. Soil sampling should be done when soil moisture conditions are suitable for sampling, usually in the spree. G or fall. Soil samples should be collected from several areas within the field or garden to get a representative sample. Samples should be collected from the same depth and mixed thoroughly before A. G or fall. Soil samples should be collected from several areas within the field or garden to get a representative sample. Samples should be collected from the same depth and mixed thoroughly before A. 
Alysis. 2. Use clean sampling equipment. Soil sampling equipment should be cleaned to avoid contamination. Tools should be cleaned with soap and water, followed by a rinse with distilled water. Samples should E collected using a clean auger or soil probe, and plastic bags used to transport samples should be clean and free of debris. E collected using a clean auger or soil probe, and plastic bags used to transport samples should be clean and free of debris. 3. Provide accurate soil information. Accurate soil information, including soil type, previous crop history, and management practices, should be provided to the laboratory conducting the analysis. Th. S. Information ensures that the lab can provide accurate recommendations for fertilizer and soil amendment application. S. Information ensures that the lab can provide accurate recommendations for fertilizer and soil amendment application. 4. Choose a reliable laboratory. When selecting a laboratory to conduct soil analysis, choose one that has a reputation for accuracy and reliability. Accredited labs use standardized test methods and follow strict quality control procedures to ensure accurate results. Follow strict quality control procedures to ensure accurate results. 5. Consider using a professional soil testing service. Professional soil testing services can provide more detailed analysis results and recommendations for soil management. These services can be extensive but may be worth it for farmers or large scale gardeners. Extensive but may be worth it for farmers or large scale gardeners. Understanding soil test results. Soil analysis results provide valuable information that can help farmers and gardeners make informed decisions about soil management practices. The following are critical components of soil test resu. TS TS 1. Soil phone, soil pH affects the availability of essential plant nutrients. In general, Soil pH should be between 6.0 and 7.0 for optimum plant growth. 2. Macronutrients Macronutrient levels, including nitrogen, N, phosphorus, P, and potassium, K, should be determined. These nutrients are required in large quantities and are essential for plant. Growth Growth 3. Micronutrients, micronutrients, including iron, Fe, manganese, Mn, and zinc, Zn, should be determined. These nutrients are required in smaller quantities but are still critical for plant growth. 4. Organic matter content, organic matter content affects soil fertility and soil structure. High organic matter content improves soil structure and nutrient retention. 5. Cation exchange capacity, SEC. SEC measures the ability of soil to hold nutrients and affects nutrient availability to plants. Soils with high SEC have a higher capacity to hold nutrients. Interpreting soil test results. Interpreting soil test results can be complicated, and recommendations can vary depending on the crop, soil type, and management practices. However, the following general guidelines can be used. 1. Phone. If soil pH is too low, acidic, lime may be applied to adjust pH levels. If soil pH is too high, alkaline, sulfur or acidifying fertilizers may be used to adjust pH levels. 2. Macronutrients. If macronutrient levels are low, fertilizer applications may be necessary. If macronutrient levels are high, reducing fertilizer applications may be necessary to prevent nutrient L. Aching Aching 3. 
Micronutrients Micronutrient deficiencies can be corrected by applying micronutrient fertilizers or soil amendments. 4. Organic matter content High organic matter content improves soil fertility and soil structure. If organic matter content is low, incorporating organic matter into the soil can improve soil health. 5. How cover crops can promote biodiversity Cover crops are a sustainable farming practice that promotes biodiversity and improves soil health. Farmers are increasingly incorporating cover crops into their agricultural practices and seeing new Rouse benefits. Cover crops refer to a range of plants that are grown between main crops to cover the soil. They are a valuable tool that farmers can use to protect and improve their land, while also Rouse benefits. Cover crops refer to a range of plants that are grown between main crops to cover the soil. They are a valuable tool that farmers can use to protect and improve their land, while also helping to mitigate climate change impacts. Cover crops can promote biodiversity in a number of ways. They can increase the number and diversity of soil microorganisms by providing a habitat for beneficial organisms, such as bacteria and mica. Easel fungi. The soil microorganisms play important roles in nutrient cycling, soil structure formation, and plant health. By promoting the growth of these beneficial organisms, cover crops can impro. Easel fungi. The soil microorganisms play important roles in nutrient cycling, soil structure formation, and plant health. By promoting the growth of these beneficial organisms, cover crops can impro. E soil fertility, structure, and water retention. In addition to promoting soil health, cover crops can also provide habitat for beneficial insects and birds. These organisms can help control pests, pollinate crops, and improve ecosystem health. 4. Example Planting cover crops like clover or buckwheat can attract beneficial insects like ladybugs and predatory wasps which can help control aphid populations. Similarly, planting cover crops like Example, planting cover crops like clover or buckwheat can attract beneficial insects like ladybugs and predatory wasps which can help control aphid populations. Similarly, planting cover crops like Unflowers or millet can attract birds like finches and sparrows which can help control weed and pest populations. Cover crops can also improve crop diversity and crop yields. Cover crops can help break up soil compaction, increasing the availability of soil nutrients and water to future crops. In addition, cover crops can help suppress weeds reducing competition for nutrients and water between crops. This can lead to increased crop yields and improve crop quality. Cover crops also help improve soil organic. Crops can help suppress weeds, reducing competition for nutrients and water between crops. This can lead to increased crop yields and improve crop quality. Cover crops also help improve soil organic. Matter which can promote better water retention, nutrient cycling, and soil structure. Another benefit of cover crops is that they can help reduce the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. By improving soil health, cover crops can help reduce the need for synthetic fertilizers. Similarly, cover crops can help control weed and pest populations, reducing the need for synthetic pesticides and herbicides. This can lead to cost savings for farmers, while also reducing the environment. Similarly, cover crops can help control weed and pest populations, reducing the need for synthetic pesticides and herbicides. This can lead to cost savings for farmers, while also reducing the environment. Endal impacts associated with synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. 
One of the challenges of integrating cover crops into farming practices is the potential for competition with cash crops for water, nutrients, and light. However, if managed correctly, cover crops ca. be integrated without negatively impacting cash crop yields. Farmers need to carefully consider the timing and species of cover crops that they use, as well as the planting density and management may. Be integrated without negatively impacting cash crop yields. Farmers need to carefully consider the timing and species of cover crops that they use, as well as the planting density and management may. HUDs they may also need to adjust their fertilizer and irrigation practices to accommodate the cover crops. There are a range of cover crop species that farmers can consider when looking to promote biodiversity. Some of the most popular cover crops include legumes like clover, peas, and beans, which can fi. Nitrogen and improve soil fertility. Grains like wheat, Oats, and barley can help suppress weed populations and improve soil structure. Brassicas like radishes and turnips can help aerate soils and nitrogen and improve soil fertility. Grains like wheat, oats, and barley can help suppress weed populations and improve soil structure. Brassicas like radishes and turnips can help aerate soils and improve nutrient cycling. Grasses like rye, fescue, and tall wheatgrass can help control soil erosion, while also improving soil organic matter and water retention. In addition to the benefits that cover crops provide to soil health and biodiversity, they also have significant potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. As mentioned earlier, cover crops can re- boost the need for synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, which are energy-intensive to produce. In addition, cover crops can help sequester carbon in the soil, reducing the amount of carbon dioxide the boost the need for synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, which are energy-intensive to produce. In addition, cover crops can help sequester carbon in the soil, reducing the amount of carbon dioxide the is released into the atmosphere. A recent study by the Rodale Institute found that incorporating cover crops into a crop rotation can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 90%. Furthermore, the benefits of cover crops are not limited to promoting biodiversity and improving soil health. They can also have positive impacts on water quality. Cover crops can reduce the amount of pollutants that leach into groundwater and surface water, such as nitrogen and phosphorus from fertilizers. This can help reduce the occurrence of harmful algal blooms and make water safe for human. Pollutants that leach into groundwater and surface water, such as nitrogen and phosphorus from fertilizers. This can help reduce the occurrence of harmful algal blooms and make water safe for human. ND Animal Consumption Another benefit of cover crops is their ability to reduce soil erosion. When soil is exposed to wind and water, it can be easily eroded, leading to the loss of valuable topsoil. Cover crops help to a core the soil in place, reducing the amount of erosion that occurs. This helps to protect the soil, preserve soil structure, and reduce the amount of sediment that enters streams, rivers, and lakes. Core the soil in place, reducing the amount of erosion that occurs. This helps to protect the soil, preserve soil structure, and reduce the amount of sediment that enters streams, rivers, and lakes. In addition to the benefits for the environment, cover crops can also have economic benefits for farmers. By improving soil health and suppressing weed and pest populations, cover crops can lead to I. Increased crop yields and improved crop quality. This can result in higher profits for farmers. Furthermore, by reducing the need for synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, cover crops can help farmers. Increased crop yields and improved crop quality. This can result in higher profits for farmers. 
Furthermore, by reducing the need for synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, cover crops can help farmers. Have money on input costs. However, there are some challenges associated with using cover crops that farmers should be aware of. For example, cover crops require more management than traditional farming practices and farmers. E to carefully consider the timing and species of cover crops that they use. In addition, establishing a cover crop can require additional equipment and labor, which may increase costs for farmers. E to carefully consider the timing and species of cover crops that they use. In addition, establishing a cover crop can require additional equipment and labor, which may increase costs for farmers. Another challenge associated with using cover crops is the potential for allelopathy, which is the release of chemicals by certain crops that can inhibit the growth of other plants. Farmers need to see. Briefly select cover crop species and avoid planting certain species that may negatively impact cash crops. Briefly select cover crop species and avoid planting certain species that may negatively impact cash crops. Despite these challenges, cover crops are gaining popularity among farmers and many are seeing the benefits firsthand. Some government programs even offer financial incentives for farmers to use COVE. Crops in their practices Crops in their practices In addition to promoting biodiversity and soil health, cover crops can also improve the resilience of agricultural systems in the face of climate change. As extreme weather events become more frequent, Cover crops can help protect the soil from erosion and nutrient loss. They can also help improve soil water retention, making crops more resilient to drought conditions. Cover crops can help protect the soil from erosion and nutrient loss. They can also help improve soil water retention, making crops more resilient to drought conditions. Furthermore, by sequestering carbon in the soil, Cover crops can help contribute to efforts to mitigate climate change. A study published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology found T. At cover cropping along with reduced tillage practices could sequester up to 30% of global agricultural carbon emissions. Techniques for enhancing biodiversity in crops Techniques for enhancing biodiversity in crops Biodiversity is the lifeblood of our planet. It refers to the variety of life on Earth and includes not only the different species but also the ecosystems where they live. Biodiversity is essential F. Are the health of the planet as it provides the necessary resources for human well-being, such as food, water, air, and medicines. Agriculture plays a crucial role in biodiversity conservation and N. Are the health of the planet, as it provides the necessary resources for human well-being, such as food, water, air, and medicines. Agriculture plays a crucial role in biodiversity conservation and N. Enhancement. Crops, in particular, are an essential aspect of agriculture, providing food for human consumption and support for the survival of other species. In this article, we will discuss the technique. Crop diversity. Crop diversity is critical for maintaining biodiversity, as it provides a variety of habitats for different species to thrive in. A monoculture, where only one crop species is grown, is detrimental t. Biodiversity, as it eliminates the habitat necessary for other species to survive. Biodiversity, as it eliminates the habitat necessary for other species to survive. Crop rotation. Crop rotation is a method of growing different crops in a particular field in different seasons. 
This technique has been practiced for centuries and has been shown to be an effective way to enhance the Odiversity in crops Crop rotation helps to prevent the buildup of pests and diseases that attack a particular crop species. The practice also reduces the need for chemicals, as pests are naturally K. Odiversity in crops Crop rotation helps to prevent the buildup of pests and diseases that attack a particular crop species. The practice also reduces the need for chemicals, as pests are naturally K. PT imbalance by the different crops grown in the same field. Integrated Pest Management, IPM Integrated Pest Management, IPM, is a holistic approach to pest management that considers the entire ecosystem, including pests, plants, and other organisms that coexist in the environment. IPM Focus S on preventing pests from causing harm rather than controlling them using chemicals. Techniques such as crop rotation, planting cover crops, and natural pest predators, such as birds and insects, are. S on preventing pests from causing harm rather than controlling them using chemicals. Techniques such as crop rotation, planting cover crops, and natural pest predators, such as birds and insects, are. Used to prevent pests from causing damage to crops. Agroforestry Agroforestry is the combination of trees and shrubs with crops or livestock in the same field. This technique has been used for centuries, particularly in tropical regions, to enhance biodiversity and soil quality while providing food, fuel, and other resources. The combination of trees and crops provides a variety of habitats for different species, such as birds and insects, to coexist with crop. Soil quality while providing food, fuel, and other resources. The combination of trees and crops provides a variety of habitats for different species, such as birds and insects, to coexist with crop. Dot agroforestry also helps to prevent soil erosion, maintain soil quality, and provide shade for crops, which reduces the need for irrigation. Conservation tillage Conservation tillage is a method of farming that minimizes soil disturbance while planting crops. This technique helps to conserve soil moisture, reduce soil erosion, and provide habitat for soil org. Misms Misms Use of indigenous seeds Indigenous seeds are seeds that have been traditionally used in a particular region for many generations. The use of indigenous seeds helps to maintain crop diversity and promote crop resilience agai. ST Pests and Diseases Indigenous seeds are often better adapted to the local climate and weather conditions, requiring less irrigation and inputs than modern seed varieties. Additionally, the use of ST pests and diseases. Indigenous seeds are often better adapted to the local climate and weather conditions, requiring less irrigation and inputs than modern seed varieties. Additionally, the use of Indigenous seeds helps to preserve traditional knowledge associated with crop production and conservation. Mixed farming systems Mixed farming systems involve the integration of crops and livestock in the same field or farm. This technique has been used for centuries, particularly in small-scale farming systems globally, to end. Ants biodiversity, soil fertility, and sustainability. The integration of livestock and crops provides a variety of habitats for different species, such as birds and insects, to coexist with crops. A. Ants biodiversity, soil fertility, and sustainability. The integration of livestock and crops provides a variety of habitats for different species, such as birds and insects, to coexist with crops. A. 
Additionally, the waste produced by livestock is used to fertilize crops, which reduces the need for synthetic fertilizers and promotes soil health. Therefore, it is essential to continue to explore and expand these techniques for enhancing biodiversity in crops. Additionally, it is essential to raise public awareness about the importance of biode. Diversity Conservation and its Links to Human Well-Being Through education and outreach, we can encourage more people to participate and contribute to the conservation of biodiversity and promote CIST. Diversity Conservation and its Links to Human Well-Being Through education and outreach, we can encourage more people to participate and contribute to the conservation of biodiversity and promote CIST. Innable Development Globally As a society, we must recognize the importance of biodiversity and make concerted efforts to protect and enhance it, now and in the future. By implementing these techniques for enhancing biodiversity in crops, we can contribute to the protection and conservation of different species and their habitats. In the end, the protection and enhancement of biodiversity in crops should be a priority for everyone. We must continue to develop new techniques and approaches to enhance biodiversity in crops and e. Encourage more people to participate in biodiversity conservation efforts globally. By doing so, we can ensure a healthier planet that supports all life and provides for the well-being of present and f. Encourage more people to participate in biodiversity conservation efforts globally. By doing so, we can ensure a healthier planet that supports all life and provides for the well-being of present and f. To Regenerations There are still many other techniques and approaches that can be explored and developed to enhance biodiversity in crops. The promotion of pollinator-friendly farming systems, such as the planting of flowers and native plants, can help to support pollinator populations and promote greater biodiversity in crops. Flowers and native plants can help to support pollinator populations and promote greater biodiversity in crops. However, the implementation of these techniques and approaches requires the collaboration and partnership of governments, farmers, and other stakeholders. Farmers and other stakeholders can also count. I boot by adopting sustainable agricultural practices and engaging in research and extension activities. I boot by adopting sustainable agricultural practices and engaging in research and extension activities. As technology advances, new and innovative techniques for enhancing biodiversity in crops will continue to be developed. The key to achieving sustainable agriculture practices that promote biodiversity. Why conservation is through collaboration and partnerships among different stakeholders. Through education and outreach, more people can be encouraged to participate in biodiversity conservation effort. Why conservation is through collaboration and partnerships among different stakeholders. Through education and outreach, more people can be encouraged to participate in biodiversity conservation effort. And contribute to sustainable development globally. In summary, there is no doubt that enhancing biodiversity in crops is a critical aspect of sustainable agriculture and contributes significantly to the conservation of biodiversity globally. By working G together, we can prioritize and invest in biodiversity conservation efforts to secure the well-being of present and future generations, and ensure a sustainable future for all.